Welcome to 911experiments.org. Simple experiments that you can do at home to prove the validity of the official 911 commission report or disprove it and dispel the conspiracy theory of those truthers who doubt whether the official story is true. They say that concrete is strong enough to withstand the weight of floors and floors above concrete and steel. So we're going to see that. And there are a number of buildings in this area that make a very good example. Take this one for instance. Eight floors above are being supported by a single concrete column. Huh, now is that silly or what? Look at that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This building's coming down. And we're gonna watch it. You see that it's getting a little bit weaker now. How can it possibly support all that concrete and steel above it? It'll be coming down and exploding into a pyroclastic cloud any second now. Any minute now. Watching. Uh oh, no more people are getting near there. Here is a column of concrete. I'm being very brave to stand here underneath this heavy weight. Because as we saw on 9-11, a great pyroclastic cloud of pulverized dust enveloped the street. This shows you how thin the column of concrete is. I'm very, I'm very bravely standing underneath tons and tons of concrete next to this single concrete beam supporting all that weight, eight floors of concrete floors, all the people, all their stuff, including my wife's stuff, including tons of shoes. You see the column supporting as if in the air rest of the condo building. It always puzzled me since the 9-11 commission report is why they would make buildings out of concrete which is so prone to crush and crumble and turn into dust. I mean get another material. It can happen any minute now. You know the concrete even steel reinforced concrete is not strong enough to withstand the weight of the floors above. You may think I have a death wish, but I'll do anything for my videos and experiments to show what the 9-11 Commission said was true. Yes, here I am again, bravely inside the tower, the condo tower, showing that one corner is supporting the Entire one pillar is supporting the entire column of concrete. And indeed, inside, no supports. What were the architects thinking? Putting this together with concrete, which is so likely to crush and crumble into dust, like it did on 9 11? I'm going to get out of here quick. What they, could they be thinking to make buildings just out of steel reinforced concrete? Here, across the street, this design is repeated again and again. Here is the south tower of the condo, just like the south tower at the World Trade Center. A disaster is waiting to happen. How could they put all that weight, all that concrete, on top of one? thin column of concrete. Here again I am inside the building bravely videotaping what may be the last moments of this building. Look at the weight that's on those thin concrete columns.
You know, there are some truthers who say that there were some kind of like explosives planted in the buildings that crushed the concrete. As if the sheer weight of concrete, tons of concrete, is not enough to pulverize it. You know, there's even a theory by some truthers that they put the explosives in the elevators and uh, got the thermite in that way. Well, well, it's been an hour now, but I guess this experiment actually shows that concrete is pretty strong and could support tons and tons of concrete from the floors above. Let's try another experiment.